So recently I've been uploading seemingly random videos about my new fridge compressor or hammer tests on my new gun. So uh, right now I'm just going to kind of explain what, I'm been, what I've been doing. Uh, this is the gun I've been testing. It's made out of copper and brass and uh, it's got a hammer valve on it, which is just a push button valve, but with the combination of this striker plus this valve, I get a hammer valve, which means multiple shots on this single chamber. So I normally, for testing, fill this chamber up to 250 or 300 PSI, but I've had it up to 400 a few times and I've been testing it. So this uh, striker is what I've been working on recently. It's the last moving part that I pretty much have to make and then it's just structural and mounting and stuff like that to do to finish the gun. And uh, right here is, some of you might recognize it as my uh, airsoft sniper barrel. And that's not the final configuration that I'll use, but it's a testing configuration. And all these extra fittings here, that's all I had on hand to test it. So I was just shooting it a few minutes ago and it's uh, a little dark out to see how good it's shooting, but by the sound and distance, I can judge about 350 FPS, and uh, that's on the mediums, the medium strength spring. So I have three different springs, and there's five different length settings, so it's pretty customizable, the power. And uh, right now, what I'm going to do is just fill it up and show you a few uh, shots with this hammer. So what I have here is my little fridge compressor that I got out of a little water cooler thing and uh, to help it along and get it to higher pressures I simply hook it up to my bigger compressor that's regulated down to about 30 psi hook that into the input of this compressor and then um, of course turn on the power and on the output here we have a quick connect and on my gun this is a normal quick connect but uh, I modified the inside to have a little check valve so that when I disconnect my gun all the air doesn't just flow out so that's a nice feature because I don't need any extra valves or anything so uh, I'm gonna fill it up and show the pressure gauge so you guys can get an idea how long it takes to fill up alright so I'm gonna turn on the compressor here little on off switch you can hear how quiet it is and we're gonna watch as the pressure goes up it goes up very quickly I'm gonna stop it soon because I'm by myself. Don't have any help. Okay. So that quickly it got up to over 350 psi. So now when I disconnect it, there we go. Almost 400, but I didn't want to go that high because it goes up really fast and it's hard to control. So now I'm gonna test it out. Okay, 350 psi. Got the medium spring, uh, medium strength spring in here. Cock it back, and then cock it again. And uh, I'm not sure how many shots I can get out of this. Uh, each shot is a little less than, well, it's about 5 PSI per shot. But, of course, that's dependent on the spring. Oh, that shot didn't work very well. Try again. And in there is just a little bit of padding so I don't damage the button. So, uh... Now all that's left to do is figure out uh, how I'm going to attach my barrel, which shouldn't be too difficult. And then I got to attach everything together and it should be a nice little airsoft gun. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope this cleared some things up about my random videos and uh, be sure to stay tuned for updates because there should be a lot in the near future. Thanks. Bye.